just if yeah. I could let my kids go out on the front lawn, I can't because Gannon will run and he'll be gone. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Just the simple things that we learn, mm -hmm. uh, you can't take anything for granted. No. And it's such a learning experience. And it's something that we can share with the parents, too, of typical children. Yeah. And just let like, them know, boy, you're so blessed to be able yes. to do that. I mean, I can't say when I've been in a market and I'll hear the mom yell at the child. Yes. Then she might have three or four. Right. Knock it off. Don't hit your brother. <laughs> Stop doing this. If you ask me one more time, you know. And so, and sometimes like I look at the kids and I'm like they're so cute, yes. you know. And because right. I'm thinking how cute they're asking all these questions, you know. Right. Because I get on the ground and be like that was so great. You used your words, <laughs> you know. And all I could think about is this mom probably has no idea. Mm -hmm. She has you know maybe three or four kids that are so healthy, right? And has no idea. I have one child, as you know. I just wanted one, right? That was healthy, right? You know. And so and I sometimes get teary eyed mm -hmm. as I see that because I think I want to sometimes go up to that mom and shake her. Yeah. And say, give your kids a hug. You don't you have know to, how lucky you yeah, are. You don't need to yell at them. Why are you yelling at right, them? You know. Right. And I know. And every time my son, you know, gives me that hug or wants mm -hmm. me to read that story, I'm so grateful right. because I mean, anything he does, I'm like, did you see that? He just did that. <laughs> right. I like, I'll call up a friend. I'm like, oh my gosh, he knew how to draw a line from the letter L to the lion. Right. Do you know how exciting that is? And they're like. Yeah. Yeah, great. That's great. Yeah. You know, it's like, how old is he? No, you don't understand. This is really awesome, you know? Right. And that's why you have that network. If I were to call you, you'd be like, oh, my God, let's call the news. Yes. <laughs> we need to write a blog about this. We need to tell right. everybody, exactly. you know? And so I think that, to me, I think that's why the families need to know mm -hmm. that we need to keep ourselves energized. Yes. And, and by doing that also as moms, we do need to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We do need to have date night if you're married. You need to have girlfriend time. You know, you need It's so to. important. And I know the first couple of years I didn't do that. I didn't either. You know, and then I learned <laughs> early on I was starting to little by little collapse. Right. It was too much. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to be any good to right. my son right. or anybody. And you start to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to go to bed early. I'm going to mm -hmm. turn the computer off. Right. I'm going to hang up the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to go out and get a manicure and pedicure. Right, exactly. You know Do I mean? something for yourself. Do something for myself. Even if it's just driving in the car, mm -hmm. turning the radio up really loud. Right. Doing something. And, and I think as I did that, my son got better and better. And I have to believe it's because my energy was better. Was better. Absolutely. I really believe yes. that. Now, for the families that are watching, what would be some maybe like the first three things or two things or any advice you would give them if they get the diagnosis right now? What would you recommend them to do right away? Uh, I would say the first thing would be to find a physician that can help you. Okay. Get, get online and try to find either an AMAP physician or a DAN physician. Uh, these are physicians that are specialized in helping children on the spectrum. Get on that waiting list, make that appointment, and then something that you can do at home, as I said before, was educate yourself about the diet, speak to the physician when you make that appointment about the diet, and then start it. Mm -hmm. And I always suggest, this is just my opinion, starting one thing at a time. If you start gluten-free and casein-free at the same time, you won't know which one is affecting your child more or less, you know, the same. Um, so we took it out separately. We took out the gluten first, and then we removed the casein. And then if that doesn't work, you might need to go to an SCD diet or a different diet to help your child. So. You know, make your appointment with your physician that specializes in treating children with autism, not a mainstream doctor, and try the diet mm -hmm. and stick with it and don't give up because it might take you several months, maybe even a year to get some results. And then I would say just basically start educating your family members mm -hmm. about what you're going to go through and what you, this journey is that you've chosen and that you need their 100% backing and positive support mm -hmm. because this is what you're going to do and also speak to the children at your at your son or daughter's school mm -hmm. if you can absolutely I think that's just crucial I I did that and I, it was the best thing I ever did because mm -hmm. now they now they understand they get it and they know that Gannon was physically sick yes they know that it's not he's a naughty boy or he's weird there's times when he acts differently because he is feeling sick inside and they can relate to that. They know what a tummy ache mm -hmm. is. They know what a headache is. And they, you will see them w really rally around your children if you just explain it on their level. And the earlier, the better. The earlier, the better. As especially soon as you can do especially that, if they're growing, their preschool. Yeah, as soon as, because they're all growing up together. Yes. So they will start to understand. Yes. And they celebrate when Gannon, I bet you, does well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, they are so excited, and they tell me about it. Yeah. Mrs. Shear, Mrs. Shear, Gannon was the first one to, you know, turn off the light switch, or he was the first one to raise his hand. They're so or, proud of it. Oh, they are so proud Because they of probably him. feel like they're part of it, because they are. They are, I and I that. make them a part of yes. it. Yes. You know what? 
you know what you can do? You guys can do something that the doctors can't even do. And they're all like, oh, what, really? Really? Like superhero powers. Yes, <laughs> you can actually help Ganon heal yeah. and help make him better. And they're just like, what do we do? Their eyes are just wide and what do we, it's just fantastic. They will help if you give them the opportunity to help. Well, now I also know something about you. Um, You are something called an AHA hero. Yes. um, Which is the Autism Hope Alliance. Um, It's a nonprofit that uh, sprung from the health food community. Um, And uh, Tom Bohager, I know, founded that particular nonprofit. Um, Now, what exactly, I know you're doing something in the health food stores now in your local area. Would you explain explain that a little bit? Yes, it's very exciting. I'm going out to the Whole Foods in my area and giving free lectures, Uh which is such a gift to the public because it's free. They can just walk into their store and they can hear about diet and digestion or, you know, options for treating children with autism and I'm just so grateful for Whole Foods and Ends Medical for sponsoring the program to get us out into the community sharing our message of hope. Yeah. So it's very, very exciting. I have one coming up in about four weeks at the Whole Foods in Troy, uh, Michigan. So. so if you guys are near Troy, Michigan, or you know somebody, um, keep it posted. So uh, keep post. Go, 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 I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> um, basically start looking uh, for that area so you can maybe yeah. see some of Heidi's lectures. Yes, and you can just call the store and they'll give you all the information or you can walk in and they'll have posters and flyers. And Wonderful. Such. Well, yeah. I enjoy you know I love talking with you and thank you so much I think that the moms that are out there right now watching I am hoping and the dads too I hope you guys got a little bit of hope um, from us and um, you know I love you so thank you (laughs) thank thank you for having me I really appreciate it and um, you know and good luck to all I hope you win Mrs. United States (laughs) and um, and to all of you guys you know thank you guys and uh, if you guys have an idea for a show or you want to be on a show please email us at ksg at autismapproved.com. Also, if you want to stay connected with us, please follow us on Facebook at Kristen Selby Gonzalez or on Twitter at K Selby Gonzalez. I'd like to thank Enzymedica for sponsoring the show, and I'd like to thank all of you for allowing us to bring hope into your homes this week. Until next time. Bye, guys. Thank you for joining us for Autism Approved with Kristen Selby Gonzalez. Please join us next week for another episode brought to you by Enza Medica.